Manchester Day's video. I've got a few funky little bits for you. I've got a centipede drinking some water off the side of the enclosure, which looks pretty cool. And I have rehoused my isopods back into this bread bin enclosure. Um, they were in the other one, but they didn't have a lot of floor space for the millipedes. So I have shoved everything back into there because I literally had like a rub like this of isopods and I don't want to do them. I didn't like having all these different separate things. So now everything is just back into there. So it was like isopod city. So I've got that, I put that into there. And the day before when I actually decided to do this, I have actually filmed a close up of some of the isopods doing isopod things. So anyway, I'll be like that and I'll catch you at the end. Centipede is drinking. Mm. Yeah. Got a glare there. It, 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 it's, it's drinking the, the dew drops. Look at that, Jess. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He, but it looks so cool. It's quite amazing. That is quite fascinating, actually. Yeah. Look at that. That is really cool. Yeah. Many pe pe people think 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 them as 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 as, as, as small death trains. Yeah, I'm one of them. <laughs> but I've got to say that is quite fascinating seeing it doing that. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. how, how, how it twists and turns, body. Markable. Even I can't do 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 a thing like that. <laughs> Okay, so today I'm going to be moving the communal of roach billies and what have you in back into the bread bin. See how well it works this time. Jessie started moving stuff out so far. So what we've got here? For example, the, 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 this giant orange isopod, yeah. who, who, which despite his name is so small. He is small. Okay, and do you want to touch the angry roach? Don't put your eyes, don't put your eyes on him. No, normally he sees like a little bit. And who we've got down there, Jess? We've got them. Di, 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 and, and that's cucumber, our, 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 our giant African mi millipede. Okay, there is some more in here, another million, some bits. We're going to move everything out, show you everything, and then we'll show you the setup. And this is also where I was keeping my huge tub of isopods. As you can see, I have emptied Whoa. some of them into there for now. The, these dairy cow isopods are huge. Look they are cool, them. aren't they? Okay, so we've got everything out and I have set up the base of the enclosure and um, basically got a substrate mix of soil, cocoa fibre, dried leaves, dried fern and basic floor, forest floor, leafy stuff. That's all mixed in there to make it a nice luscious Seriously, soil. And yeah, I've still got the hisses, having a hiss at me. And, uh, and, uh, and, and. Yeah, he's not happy at all. So I'm going to get it all set up nicely. Ser ser seriously, bro, I barely even touched you. <laughs> going to get it all set up. Okay, so this is the final setup. I've got a glare, unfortunately. But I'll try and show you from the top if I can. Yeah, I've basically got lots of hides, different heights and things. It does go a lot deeper at the back for the millies. Some moss I've collected. As you can see, some of the ice pods and the beetles are all ready in there because I do have so many isopods, it's don't, not even funny. Don't, 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 don't worry, no... No isopods were, were, hurt, were hurt in the process. Right, okay, oh. so Jessie's going to start getting the things back in now. So come on, grab the angry hiss. Before it... Yeah, it's going to hiss at you. Do you want me to do it? No, no, I can. Oh, come on, mate. Okay, put him in. You angry little goblin. <laughs> God, he's really hissed out. He hisses all the time. We've only got a look at him. Okay, so who have we got next? Cucumber. Come on, Cucumber. Let's bring yourself a nice new home. There you go, Chuck. Seriously, you're still hissing, bro. Yeah, you'll be hissing for ages now. You'll be hissing for ages. Now, now the final main one is pickle. What? Quite, quite, quite shy, but, but, but. What type is pickle? Can you remember? I can't. I, I know dark chocolate mill millipede. No, it's not chocolate. You stopped hissing, now, Mister. She's bro. <laughs> Oh yeah, there, 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 there are a few domino roaches, like like like, like this one. Yeah, that's us Very in. skittish, though. Yeah, there we go, put him in. Alright, Jessie's ah. just going to put the last few things in, I'll show you. 
Mr. Angry over here. And as you can see, I've got some dark limb beetles that seriously turn up everywhere. Once you ever have Mario worms, you're stuck with these beetles. Eat your I've got an ice pod trying to escape here. Okay, do you want to get one? Come on, go. Oh, oh, come on, bro. <laughs> Go on, Clingy. Right there. I can see your bum. Whoa. And now... Oh, here you go. Look. He's having a bit of an explorer. But two, I need to put a little... Two hungamongaluses. Hung, two hungamongaluses. There you can just see the butt of the roach just gone in there now. You can see cucumbers having a nice explore. They're all probably thinking, what the heck have you just done to me? I was nice and comfy, but I did like the setup of the other enclosure. But the, but there wasn't Way much... too small. Yeah, it, was, it had good for height, but the floor space wasn't very much. So um, we're giving the red bean one more bash. Um, so there we have it. Loads more space. You can you see the bum of the roach over there? Cucumber stretched out, putting on some serious chunk now. If you put your hand in front of it, Jess, you can see it for size. There you go. And uh, um, uh, uh, um, 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 pickle over here. Yeah. Have a nice little explore. Yep. So, so I'll put in some food, give them a miss down, and hopefully, I like it. This will be pretty cool. That is pretty much my setup. I'll do want to get some more large sticks to go in there as well, just to give them some height, because I do know that the roach does like to go up high. But, yep, yeah, all in all. Really good. Hey, matey. Say bye. <laughs> bye. I think you like it, don't you? Yep. You do.
welcome back. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you know when I upload. And don't forget that the, our Webber's Live is Thursday at 8 o'clock. Not sure whose channel it's on yet. Look out for our social media and we'll sort it out from there or we'll let you know. Okay.